All right, hang on tight as we create shears together. So there's some hints and tips in here as well as different mediums that you don't expect. All right, hang on. Howdy, howdy, y'all. We are going to play with shears. So by doing this, we are going to create a solution of mostly alcohol and a few drops of our ink into one of these little bottles here. And the cool thing about these little bottles is they have this little needle so you can uh, really put uh, the ink where you want it. So we're going to get started with that. So the first things first, uh, dilute solution of your alcohol ink. Check. Done. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and create a shape and then just repeat, 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 repeat the shape. And you should get some transparency type of a look to it, especially with a diluted solution. So let's get started. All right, first off, a couple drops. around it helps the illusion a little bit it's a little harder to do with colors but it works really well with the white how they make it. It's a little bit different than what they do for the other color. is if you're using something that doesn't uh, reactivate when you put alcohol on top of that and I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's see, is this page I'm doing? It is. Let me use this one. Okay. Oh, crap. I got some dark stuff on that. Go ahead. Ignore that. Alright, so some of my fluorescent inks are from a product called Illumilite. And it's actually a dye that's meant for resin, but you can basically suspend the solution with an alcohol and kind of use it like an alcohol ink. But the cool thing about these guys is that once they're dry, when you put alcohol on them, they don't usually reactivate too much. I'll show you what I mean. definitely have the 
this guy here, so when I put this next one down, you should see that shape underneath it. See what I mean? I'm going to do a diagonal. You do see the underlying colors. Oops. All right, let's try this over here. Get it going diagonal too. that are kind of like paint light particles um, such as this uh, aluminite dye will do this kind of thing where you can create shears. It's a little hard to do with regular alcohol inks but you can see, you can see some definite overlaps here and seeing some shapes because it seems to deposit the ink or in this case a dye onto the paper and it doesn't reactivate when you go back over it. So if the goal is to create something that looks sheared or layered, um, go towards something that is, is similar to like this uh, Illumilite product or even the white uh, pinata inks. Because I don't know what the actual thing is. I need to find out uh, if it is almost like a paint base in there instead of what they would normally use. Okay, so I'm rambling. All right, that's how you create shears. So, enjoy. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.